Welcome to the author's podcast and newsletter in the spotlight. At least once a week you'll hear in the podcast uh, and twice a week uh, in the newsletter. Considerations about security and its threats with special emphasis on terrorism and special services. An overview of the media with an author's commentary will go directly to your email inbox. I invite you to continuously follow the podcast and subscribe to the newsletter. Head towards the podcast in your sights. Welcome, this time from Spain, precisely from Barcelona. We are on Ralambla Street, and it's not a coincidence that we are suggesting from this place. Here's another recording for you. Here in 2017, in August, there was one of the attacks that took place. The location is not chance at all. It is here where, as you will see in the film, on the cobblestone street in a certain way. The victims were honored, both the dead and the wounded. We are, as I said, in Catalonia. The region actually borders the French-Spanish border. Unfortunately, here too. In public life, separatists and jihadists have their share. It probably wasn't a coincidence either, maybe these two traps can be connected. That the infamous event also occurred in 2017 referendum. Nisita, uh, the matter continues to this day. It has also become very political because of this, that the government is trying to achieve the majority. It tries to attract electorate associated with autonomy through amnesty. and the order of curiosities. Uh, last year, maybe two years ago, I don't remember exactly, it turned out that the Russians, uh, they wanted to strongly support Catalan separatists on both sides. On one hand, hundreds of thousands of dollars were promised to flow, but also military faces were promised. Let's call it uh, a hundred fighters have been offered, a fanatic. What came out of this in the end? We really don't know. We're at a place where the American agencies, FBI, CIA, they also cooperate very closely with the Spanish. Considering the various threats associated with... We are dealing with extremism here. It's said that even 300 extremists have recently made it to this region. In Spain, hence, big risks, big safeguards and big actions by the services. We just saw police officers patrolling with long arms. Here, the district is not just an airplane. Thank you for watching. American services consider this region as one of the three main areas of their interest in terms of activity. Jihadist uh, logistical recruitment, which is very important in the actions of terrorists. The Spanish authorities conducted the fourth out of five emergency degrees. There is a lot of fuss about critical infrastructure. 
and an interesting fact additionally. Also in terms of cybernetics, uh, Spain is conducting very strong activities, as they say, supervision. Subtitles created by the Amara Org community. Subtitles created by the Amara.org community. Head towards the podcast in your site. All episodes of the podcast Na Celloniku are available on over 20 of the biggest podcast platforms, as well as on YouTube. Also, I invite you to subscribe to the newsletter at www.naceloniku.com. If you appreciate the podcast and the newsletter on Target, I invite you to support on the Patronite website at patronite.pl at the end. Carrier in the crosshairs.